In this video, I'm going to talk all about particles. Now, what is a particle, you may ask? Well, that is the object that combines textures, meshes, and shaders into one simple thing that is used over and over again inside of a particle system. So in the previous videos, we learned about textures, meshes, and shaders, so I'm not gonna cover what those do or how they work. But what we do know is that they give an object certain properties or parameters. Now, each of our particles is gonna be unique from another. Kind of like when you have a handful of glitter and you blow it out into the air and the glitter scatters to the wind, each of those little pieces of glitter is gonna have its own properties. And the same is true in a particle system, which consists of many different types of particles that all have their own unique attributes. Some are different colors, some are different sizes, some are moving much faster than others, some fall to the ground more quickly, etc., etc. Now, the best way that I can break this down is with the analogy of the garden hose. So if you have a hose that's turned on, it's going to be emitting water particles, right? The water is going to be streaming out in a certain way. Now, if you can imagine that some hoses might spit out other types of things like goo or slime or glitter, right? Whatever it's spraying out, that emitter is spraying out consistently a type of particle. And when you get multiple emitters together, all spraying at the same time, you get a particle system. So at the base level, we have the individual particle, that's the little drop of water or the little piece of glitter or whatever it is. And then we have the emitter, which is the hose itself and how it emits. And that has certain properties to it as well of like how fast it's spitting them out, uh, what locations it's spitting them out. We all seen those like sprayer hoses that spray out in different formations. You can do the same thing in an emitter with a video game. You can actually set it so that it might emit from a ring or from a box or from a single point or in a cone. There's all different formations that you can set up in the properties of your emitter. And then we have the particle system itself, which is a collection of multiple emitters all working together. So like an explosion would be a good example of a particle system where it's designed to have many different emitters, some doing the dark smoke, some doing the fiery bits. One might do the little tiny pieces of embers or sparks coming out and on and on. Each different emitter creating a different type of particle to work together to make one cool effect. Okay, so we've got our particles, emitters, and particle system working together. And at each level, we have all kinds of different variety to choose from inside of our particle editor, such as Niagara in Unreal Engine, or the particle editor in Unity, or the VFX graph in Unity, right? So these are different user interfaces that have all kinds of options to edit the properties or parameters of our particles. And there's many different types of particles even that we can look at. You've got camera facing cards, which we discussed briefly in the mesh video, where it's always looking at the camera, those little billboards that are always facing you. We've got mesh particles that are simply just different meshes that are floating out into space. We've got ribbons, which trail behind different objects that are traveling along like a missile. The ribbon of smoke that's going behind it, for instance, would be a ribbon type particle. We've got beams, which connect two points together with a very defined strip of something that's joining them. There's all these different types of particles and many more based on what you're trying to accomplish with your overall effect. So that's particle systems in a nutshell. Now, the bulk of what we teach at VFX Apprentice is all about how to work within these four different things that we've mentioned, the textures, the meshes, the shaders, and the particle systems. And these four together make up the entire job description of a visual effects artist. So you're gonna to need to learn all four of them. And don't worry, we have lessons for each of them, taking you from total beginner to full composition of making a full blown effect. And we're gonna guide you step by step. There's a lot of things you can learn in each stage, but it's important not to get too overwhelmed or too worried about all the buttons that you don't know what they do. Even me, when I open the software, I don't know what all the buttons do. I still have many more things to learn, but even with that, I can create some pretty cool stuff with the knowledge that I have. And you're gonna be in the same boat. I'm so excited for you to get on your journey of learning how to assemble awesome particle systems. Okay, on to the next video, and thanks for watching.